I'm Jeff Tabelko, the Woodrow Wilson Center in Washington, D.C., but I'm here in Austin, Texas at the inaugural South by Southwest Eco Conference and wanted to share a few, a few thoughts. Uh, three presentations really made an impression. Uh, the conference started off with former Governor Bill Ritter from Colorado talking about uh, renewable energy, interviewed by Brian Walsh from Time Magazine. And Governor Ritter could alternate between very technical field-based, how do we get these things deployed, how do we work in a, a political environment at the state level, all the way up to connections between energy security and national security in the larger political debates and found his case for how the practical, the on the ground, the finding ways to make it work economically, make it work technologically, and def deploy these technologies um, connected to these larger discourses, larger debates about how finding paths to renewable energy were part of a larger way of securing uh, America's future. Um, next we had Ned Breslin, who is the charismatic leader of Water for People. Ned was, Ned was bringing it strong in terms of really being very critical of some of the easy ways that we suggest uh, meeting water and sanitation needs in the developing world uh, might be easier than is actually the case. In fact, he called it a con to suggest that kind of flippantly, well, for 25 bucks you can save a life, and that it's easy uh, to provide fresh water, clean water, and provide sanitation to some of these really very needy populations around the world. He said it's actually really hard work. Uh, if you're interested in sustaining those kinds of interventions, finding ways that local populations can own those technologies, own those capacities, and keep them going, finding ways to finance it in a meaningful fashion. So making really those water and sanitation interventions sustainable. Uh, and then finally, John Foley, uh, who's at the University of Minnesota, uh, a faculty member there, directs the Institute of Environment, is, uh, is frankly a, a food security rock star. He gave a, a presentation re recognizing the, the three challenges we have in food to feed today's population, to feed the population that we know is going to grow uh, probably nine, at least nine billion by 2050. Uh, and to do that in a sustainable fashion so that the way we uh, pursue agriculture and the way we grow food uh, doesn't compromise the ecosystems upon which it's dependent. And John and his colleagues have literally a five-step uh, response that they suggest not going to be easy, but a way to try to really meet those three fundamental challenges. And I urge you to check out John's work uh, online because he, he speaks from the perspective of a scientist, but in a fashion that is widely accessible to a public audience and to a policy audience. And so getting him in front of those, uh, in front of those groups, I think, uh, is a real value added uh, for John and the other speakers here at South by Southwest Eco in Austin, Texas.